Today's topic, 11 early signs of a controlling man. Today I want to share the signs with you that show you that your boyfriend shows clear signs of controlling behavior. And if that's the case, then you should think twice and even three times or four times if you want to continue this relationship. If your boyfriend or your husband or maybe even the guy who you're not in a relationship with yet, but you're thinking about starting a relationship with him, if this guy shows some or maybe even all of the signs that I'm sharing with you right now, then imagine a big warning sign, a big stop sign that's going wee, 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 red flag, red flag, red flag. Be very careful when it comes to these type of guys. And the first sign I want to share with you is that he makes you feel guilty about everything. If you, for example, eat uh, let's say a piece of cake or french fries, something that contains a little bit more calories. And he then tells you, do you know how many calories that has? Do you really want to eat that? Why don't you eat something healthy? Why are you doing that? This shows controlling behavior. Or for example, you bought a new jeans and you really like that jeans. And then he asks you, do you want to financially ruin us? Why are you doing that? Why did you spend that money? Or you, for example, spend time with your best friend. In fact, that's something that especially controlling narcissists absolutely hate because they want you for themselves. They don't want you to have a life and they especially don't want you to talk about them. And narcissists are extremely controlling and a lot of the women who I've coached who were trapped in narcissistic relationships and who have then helped to get out of these narcissistic relationships and to attract men who are loving and supportive a lot of these women were trapped in situations where they met one of their best friends and then their guy, their boyfriend, their husband freaked out completely because narcissists are always afraid that you talk about them behind their back. So if you, for example, spend time with a friend and he then blames you for not loving him and for loving your friend more and for giving your friend more attention than you give him, that's a clear sign of controlling behavior. And especially if a guy who you're not in a relationship with yet shows this sign and you're thinking about dating him, if it starts like that, do not do it. And what if he tries to dictate to you what you can wear and what you can't wear? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's okay for your boyfriend or your husband or the guy you started dating to say, hey, I really love to see you in this dress. I mean, my girlfriend also has a specific dress that whenever she wears it, I can't keep my eyes off her. I mean, I can't keep my eyes off her anyway, no matter if she's wearing sweatpants or a dress. But if she wears that dress and she knows exactly what dress that is, then I'm floating on cloud nine. <laughs> That's, of course, completely normal behavior. If he tells you, hey, I really like when you wear that dress. But what if he says something like this? Don't wear that dress. That looks cheap. Do you want people to stare at you? That's controlling behavior. And that should ring your alarm bells. And this man absolutely hates it to feel inferior to any other guys. This is like losing control, especially if you're dating a narcissistic man. And like I said, narcissistic men are very, very controlling. Let's say, for example, one of your best friends has a new boyfriend and then you introduce that boyfriend to him and then you introduce this boyfriend to your boyfriend, the controlling guy. What happens now if the other guy has a better job, if he has a higher income, if he's better looking? Oh, then he might tell you, I don't like that guy. I don't want you to see that friend anymore. This happens because he feels inferior. And when it comes to the word inferior, you should keep this word in mind when it comes to all the signs that I share with you in this episode. Because one thing that controlling men absolutely hate is to feel inferior. And that's also why they show this controlling behavior. Because they want to make you feel so inferior. They want to control every move you make so that you feel inferior and that you will stay with him. Because controlling behavior is always a manifestation of a lack of self-confidence. There is no self-confident man who shows controlling behavior. Controlling behavior is always the result of a low self-esteem. So if you are in this position, always remember, he wants to control you because he wants to make you feel unworthy and inferior. And he does that because he thinks that this is the only way how you will stay with him. 
And this man only shows love when you do exactly what he wants you to do. As soon as you verbalize your own ideas, as soon as you have your own thoughts, as soon as you think for yourself and act the way you want to act and live your own life, that's the moment when he will lose interest and that's the moment when he will try to control you even more. So his love is never true love, it's always conditional. It's more like, I love you when you do exactly what I want you to do and as soon as you don't do that anymore, I will lose all my feelings for you and I will make you feel inferior and unworthy. And you don't need such a man, you deserve a man who truly loves you. And that's why you deserve to learn how you can attract such a man by triggering an emotion that is even stronger than love. An emotion that will make the loving, supportive and amazing man that you always wanted devoted to you. And if you want to find out how you can trigger this emotion in him, you can click on the first link in the description or go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted. And yes, if you click on the first link in the description or you go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted and you watch this video till the very end, then you have the opportunity to invest in the devotion sequence, which is an incredible program that I recommend to every single one of my coaching clients who want to make a high value man who's ready to love and ready to commit to you, devoted to them. And if you want to have the same superpower, I can highly recommend that you invest in this program. And I want to be 100% transparent and honest with you. If you decide to invest in this program, I receive a commission for it, but I only recommend it to you because so many of my coaching clients have experienced incredible results with it and because I tested it and I truly believe in it. And I also believe that the reason why your controlling boyfriend or husband opens old wounds is because he wants to make you feel guilty. Always remember, he wants to make you feel inferior. That's why he always brings up the fight that you had two years ago or one year ago and he always makes you feel bad about it. And that's why you can never fully relax in such a relationship. And that's why it's important that you get out of this relationship. And if you're ready to get out of this relationship and to finally attract a man who truly loves you and who's devoted to you, then please allow me to help you to get out of this relationship and please allow me to help you to develop the self-confidence and the self-love that you need in order to attract a man who truly loves you. And if you're ready to work with me, then you can click on the second link in the description or go to gethimkeephim.com slash Skype and book your first Skype coaching session. And you have the feeling that you're apologizing for everything, even though he's the one who did things wrong, even though he's the one who betrayed you, even though he's the one who messed up. This means that this guy is controlling, and that means that you should get out of this relationship. And with this man, everything is conditional. And like I said before, his love is also just conditional, but not just his love, also his attention, what he does for you in the way he helps you. He only treats you like somebody who deserves love whenever you do exactly what he wants you to do. Always remember, it's a fake love. It's a false love. It has nothing to do with real love. And if this is the daily reality of your relationship, you have to get out. And like I said, I'm more than happy to help you to get out of this relationship and to also help you to attract a loving and supportive boyfriend who does not control you. And if you're ready to work with me, then you are ready for your first Skype coaching session. And this man acts like a butthurt child whenever you disagree with something he says. And it can be the smallest things, even if you don't like a TV show that he likes. If you have a different taste in music, it can be the smallest things that then turn into narcissistic rage. And that's something that you do not want in your life. And if you currently have it in your life, then... Like I said before, and I will say it again, you have to get out of this relationship. Because no, he will not change. And I know that from so many Skype coaching sessions with amazing women who've been trapped in relationships with narcissists and with controlling men. And even though some of them believed, at least before they started working with me, that these guys will change, it never turned out to be true. And he doesn't like it when people ask questions, especially when people ask questions about his past because he has skeletons in the closet and he wants to keep them there and he hates it to be in a position 
where the other person feels like he or she is in control, because the moment he gets questioned, he starts losing control, and that's something that a controlling man absolutely hates. And he makes you doubt your qualities as a girlfriend or wife. He constantly compares you to other women and he says things like, oh, my ex-girlfriend did this better, she was better when it comes to this. And he, for example, also tells you that other women take care of their body better, other women take care of their appearance better, other women do this, do that, do this, do that. And his goal is to make you doubt that you could get anyone else who's better than him, even though I know from coaching so many women that you can, in fact, get a man who's way better than him. And that's actually his strategy to keep you around. He wants to make you inferior. He wants to give you the feeling that he's the best you can get. And he gives you the feeling that you are unworthy of love, that you will end up alone, that you are nothing without him. And he does that because he's afraid to lose you. He wants to keep you around by making you feel inferior to him. But you deserve a man who's devoted to you, a man who's not controlling, a man who would do everything for you. And that's why you are ready to click on the first link in the description or to go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted and to watch this video till the very end. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.